Felix here, there is something very odd going on in the market. And no, I'm not talking about certain stocks going down. I'm talking about a massive concerted effort to unwind trades, prepare for a Fed flip and, well, leave retail traders holding the bag as usual. Let me explain it to you and I'll break it down. This is not something that would normally make the headlines. It's a little bit more technical. Before we do that, get your hands on Goldman Sachs' list of the, their top 18 options trading picks for post midterm terms. Uh, so get your hands on that. It's a, it's a free benchmark. It looks just like this. In fact, it is this. FelixFrance.org slash, was it? Goldman 18, Goldman 18. Download it. And of course, none of the following is financial advice. As you know, I, my intention is to make you smarter, better informed, but make this part of your research, not the conclusion. Otherwise, you didn't really learn anything. Okay, so I was just looking at, um, at a VXN chart as one does. VXN is the volatility of the NASDAQ. So in volatility, NASDAQ goes up and down a lot. The VXN, it's like the VIX, it's like a fear index would go up a lot. And I don't know how well you can see that, but can you see these lines? I call them tails of, of the last couple of days trading. What does that mean? Well, it means that the VIX traded, say, four days ago, between 32, the VXN, and 9. Nothing ever moves from 9 to 32 in one day. Why not? Because that's insanity. Like, it's just not normal. I've literally gone back about 20 years for the VXN. We've never seen anything like it. And there is a massive, massive pool of days that are just as crazy and as erratic. What does that mean? Well, first of all, you have to understand what the VXN really is. So, as I said, volatility of the NASDAQ 100, like VIX is the volatility of the S&P 500. People often talk about the VIX, not as much as the VXN. It's essentially the put versus call ratio. So when people buy puts, they think the market's going to fall. They want to protect themselves. When people buy calls, they think the market's going to go up. They want to they want to gain make you know gains from it. So that's the the direction of this trade. When there is tons of put buying, then well, the market is likely to fall. Right. So what's happening here? Massive, unprecedented, literally unprecedented selling of puts. Now, why would you be selling your puts? You are a massive institutional fund. You've got billions of dollars. Why do you hold puts? Because you're worried about the market tanking, right? Isn't that what everybody's worried about? Well, no longer institutions. So what do they know that we don't know? Have they had a word with their regulator, their pals at the Fed, the ex-bankers working there? Quite possibly. I, of course, cannot prove that in any way, shape or form, but it is very, very odd on the scale of it. Now, the last time we've had such massive moves in intraday VIX, COVID, crash, 2018 financial crisis, 2016, and then 2009 global financial crisis, right? So those are the dates that we've last seen that. So I thought, well, let's look back at them. Let's look what that looked like. So this here was 2018. Doesn't look that dramatic, does it? No, of course it doesn't, because we moved only... Let me get a brighter pen. 2018, we moved from 20 to 36. So we almost doubled, but not quite. Nowhere near as big a move as, as right now. But when was that happening? Well, that was happening as the market was tanking. Right? The market tanked here. This is the S&P. This is the S&P 500. And then you saw these big VIX moves here in the background. So... What are we seeing, right? Well, let's let's look at what, what we are seeing. Um, this was COVID, right? So we saw fairly big moves in the VIX, not massive, from like 50 to 60, something like that. So plus 20%. Nothing like the massive moves we're seeing right now. And again, it was when the market was, was crashing. So what are we seeing right here, right now? Well, on those days, the here, the market just sort of, went down a little bit, went up a little bit, no massive movements. So what is going on here? I think what's going on here is a complete massive repositioning of institutions to get ready for the post 
post-election rally. Why post-election rally? Let me run you through again the jobs numbers we looked through a couple of days ago in a second here. And essentially, they're saying, look, the market is going to turn fundamentally bullish. The Fed is hiking rates more slowly. As they do it more slowly, there is more time for inflation to calm down. So they are basically saying inflation is going to come down. The terminal interest rate is not going to be as high, so less high than the market is pricing in at the moment. And therefore, they plan on making a boatload of money out of the rally. Um, now, we've made a lot of money out of volatility because that's what we trade with our options trades, right? You know, we're up 114% so far this year. And I always share you with you all of the trades in the community. We record them all on a spreadsheet live. I ping them to you. Uh, we do, do them on live trades. And here is the actual portfolio. And we're doing quite nicely today. We're going to take some profits on Apple, I think, later today. So, what does that mean? Well, should you have a desire to build an extra income stream, stick around. I'll tell you how we, how we, how we do it in a, in a second here. Second part, there is a massive bank run on FTX, big crypto exchange. Um, net outflow in the last 48 hours, $687 million. Insane, hey? The uh, leadership at FTX, uh, Bankman Fried, says FTX is fine. Assets are fine. A competitor is trying to go after us with false rumors. We have enough to cover all client holdings. And then, uh, well, just a short while later saying, hey, all, few announcements to make. We've come full circle. We are being acquired by Binance. Otherwise, we'll go out of business. We haven't got the assets, um, but don't worry about it. We're working on clearing the withdrawal backlog, as in they haven't got enough money. Uh, the important thing is consumers are, are protected. And then also, by the way, FTX US, two separate companies are not impacted. Withdrawals are and have been live, fully backed one-to-one -one now, I'm, I'm assured, right? So decentralized crypto, not so much. There's still banks and the banks will still screw you when they run out of money. Now, why fundamentally are institutions repositioning? Well, maybe they watched my video here from two days ago. There is this massive gap in the job numbers that are reported by the Biden administration, and I have no political opinions really on the US, I'm not a US citizen, couldn't really care less who runs the country, monkeys could run the country as long as the financial markets run well, I'm quite happy. So I don't mean that, I, I obviously don't wish for you to be run by monkeys, but you know what I mean, I, I have no Democratic or Republican affiliations. So the, the, the official line here is that um, 2.45 million jobs have been created since March. Now, the household survey reports 150,000 jobs created, and even those, most of those are at part-time positions. Now, when you take away these 2.5 million jobs, what happens? The labor market isn't tight anymore. Therefore, inflation dissipates, and the Fed can hike rates much more slowly. The market rallies at least temporarily. And I think that's very much what these guys are preparing themselves for. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to make money out of it, but don't just chuck money out of it if you don't really know what's going on here. That would be highly, highly, highly risky. And I really wouldn't want you to do that. Uh, come and learn from us. Felix runs at Rockstash Coaching. You can work with me and my coaching team directly one-on-one -on -one, and we'll teach you what we do, how we made 114%. I'm not guaranteeing you 114% return, by the way. That would not be... Um, ethical, I don't think. Uh, but what I do promise you is that I teach you absolutely everything that I know and how I structure all of my trades, the entire protocol, our risk management, most importantly, that's really where the money is made. So provided you have at least a five-figure portfolio, go to Felix Franz Rock slash coaching and uh, give us a ring. If you're not quite there yet at the five, six, seven, eight, nine figures, let's get you there faster. How? By helping you build an additional income stream. How do you do that? Check out the Master Options Broker. 100 pre-recorded lectures. Um, you get to see me trade live every single week. You get access to my Master Options portfolio. You get daily live chat support and so on. And by the way, you don't need to stare at charts all day. I've tried it. It really doesn't move the market. I really have tried. I've tried, stared very, very hard at charts. It makes absolutely no difference. So what do we do? We set up trades. We automate our exits. We set the exit strategy and we go and have a life. So you can do this. If you have, say, three hours a week to do it, and I think most people do, given the amount of time, you know, you watch Netflix and YouTube, but except for this very valuable content, continue watching that. That stop everything else. <laughs> uh, so there we go. Let me know what you make of this massive repositioning in the market happening. This is, of course, already supporting the market, but I don't think we've seen quite 
the end of this yet. I'm waiting for the midterm results. It should be interesting. And I look forward to having you on another video. Thank you very much for watching.